Okay, so we're gonna make a base plate to eventually make this stabilized base occlusion rim on this fully edentulous cast. We've already trimmed the cast properly. We've got a nice peripheral roll in the land area and the undercuts are blocked out, uh, mostly in the anterior and especially this prominent incisive papilla a little bit around the rugae. I have to put some separator on because otherwise the tr uh, triad that we're gonna make this out of is gonna stick to the stone and pull off patches of stone which will result in in a denture that's going to cause sore spots. This cosep needs to be wet when you apply the triad, so I want to use a brush to make sure I get it everywhere. Okay, and it's still wet. Take your triad, pink denture base material. Okay, this is what it's made for, not the clear custom tray material. Peel it off. You can be conscious of working a little bit quick with this because just the light from your overhead light will cause uh, cause it to cure eventually. I like to put a little Vaseline on my fingers to keep it from sticking to the triad. Okay. And then apply it so it goes deep down in the palate. We want to try not to have a bubble or trapped air in there deep down in the palate. Okay. Work it into your peripheries. If we need to, we can stretch it out a little bit. The arch is a little big, a little bigger than the sheet. Okay, about like that. Now I'm gonna take a barred parker and I wanna cut off some of this excess, but I'm not gonna trim it right down into the periphery yet because I wanna use some of this excess material to fill those borders. Okay, take a number seven and fill your peripheries so that the peripheries on this denture base are going to like look like the peripheries on a denture. Nice rounded full extension borders so that our wax try-in will be as much like the final denture as we can. The exception of we will have block out wax on this that we won't have in the final denture. So we can put a little Vaseline on this and then rub the borders, blend everything together. If you do have a bubble in the palate area, you can take your Bart Parker and punch a little hole and get the air out and go back over. From here, this will go into the triad machine. We'll do it for two minutes. Take it out and run it under some cold water to try not to melt the block out wax. Cure it for another two minutes then we can pry it off. When we pry it off, we'll pry here on a thick area, not back where it's thin, and we'll crack it. Work it, put your number seven in here, pry it off, take it off in this direction, paint the entire, both surfaces with, uh, with air barrier and cure it another two minutes. And then we'll grind the sharp edge off of the periphery with a brass burr. That's it.